<sighs> oh, already unlocked that. Any cats that want to come in this morning? Oh, hey, Lily. Hey, old girly. Anybody else? Ooh, it's chilly out here. Good morning, everyone. Before we get started on another high adventure video, unfortunately, today is the day I have to get my very first root canal done. In fact, I'm getting a couple of them done, unfortunately. Both cavities are what they call flossing cavities, which just basically means I didn't floss enough. So kids, if you're watching out there, do your flossing. So my doctor gave me something to take the edge off, so to speak. It's called triazolam, triazolam, triazolam. I don't know, it sounds like something you'd mine in RuneScape. I don't know, here it goes. I do know this is supposed to be potent enough where I'm not allowed to drive. So my wife's going to take me into my appointment and then she's going to pick me up. But I don't know. We'll see. Ugh. Really not looking forward to this. All right. Quick update on the trapezodium stuff we took. I don't even remember what it's called. But. <sighs> my eyes just feel like they're like rolling around and. My head feels a little woosy. I don't hurt. I feel kind of tired, actually. Well, I'm glad it's working. So, it's supposed to take one more, potentially, as we go in. Because I'm getting two... Whatever I'm done is getting called. I'm getting two of them. So, I'm thinking I'll probably take both medications. Just because now my procedure, instead of being like an hour and a half, is probably going to be like two and a half hours or three hours. <sighs> yeah. That's your update. Medicine is taking effect. Alright guys. My wife, my beautiful wife, is chauffeuring me to the dentist. We've got the whole gang. Everybody say hi. Yeah, yeah, so we are on our way. The medications has definitely road, seemed to have right. taken a Archer firm lane. grip. I still think I could drive though. Right. I'm pretty confident yeah. in that. Who said no back there? Mm. This is my sign off. Wish me luck. Double, what am I getting? A double ear, ear uh, root canal. We will be back on a high adventure once this is completed. So I will catch you guys at the end of my appointment because I kind of doubt they want a camera set up at the Enadonis. All right, guys. We're all finished. I can't feel anything on this side of my mouth. I actually can feel pretty good over here. I keep chewing on my tongue, though. Like I guess it's time to go home and take a nap. y'all look where we just rolled up to look at this look at this what is going on guys welcome back to yet another high adventure video here in 2024 we are deep in the south carolina mountain at first glance i mean it looks like we're gonna be in for a very fun next couple of days we've got the truck with us we have our kayak we have all our camping gear, as you can see. We actually have to get set up right here on the pavement because there are no campsites here, and this is all you've got. There are only two places to access this lake, 
and we're at one of them. So we're just going to camp right out here on the pavement, right out of the bed of the truck. We got here a day early so we could get set up, kind of figure out where we're at. So something else interesting about this lake is you cannot have any motor over 20 horsepower on it. Hence the reason I brought the kayak. I've got a 115 on the back of my new boat. So I don't know if like I could technically put it in, but just run the trolling motor around. I'd have to ask DNR about that. that. That might be a little bit of a gray area. But for this time, we've got the old trusty pedal drive Hobie Mirage out back. Park this right over here. Let's head off to the side. Even brought a fire pit. <laughs> so we can have a fire right here. Without making it right on the pavement. <laughs> All right, we've got camp set up. Have a little cooking stove here. Oh, we could put all our cook stuff in there. I'm trying to hide the wood just in case we get any rain. Go ahead and take the lid off the fire pit as well. Set them right over here. Here is our view though from the tent. I mean, waking up to this, I don't think you could beat that right there. I mean, we got like a bird's eye view too. We're sitting up probably about 40, 50 feet off the lake. Here's our tent. Got everything we need. Big old battery bank. Got my nice bed. Pretty much everything we're gonna need. I also brought a Mr. Buddy heater just in case it gets pretty chilly tonight. I'm assuming it probably will be. We're up about as far up in the mountains as you can get, I feel like. Ooh, ladies and gentlemen, you're looking at a one match wonder this evening. That was surprising too. I had to scavenge around the parking lot for some of the small stuff. I neglected to bring anything small. I've got all this big wood, but did not bring any small stuff to start a fire with there go. tonight's dinner consists of a little Campbell's chunky chili with beans what is your guys's take on chili with with or without beans I'd actually really never heard of chili without beans that's foreign to me is that like a controversial subject I don't know. I've always had chili with beans though. Got ourselves a little hot dog action. Throw them on the griddle. Got a second one. There we go. Oh jeepers. My doggies are cooking too fast. They're gonna have to go jump in the chili bath. There you go. I mean, they're gonna all be smothered in chili anyway at some point. We may as well just nestle them down there in that Campbell's goodness. Oh, don't let the handle go in. There. Here goes nothing. You know, I'm sitting here in shorts, and it's weird because today was like one of the first really warm days we've had in 2024. It got like 72, but a week ago when I was fishing Lake Jocassi, didn't catch hardly anything, but I was in snow pants. That's South Carolina weather for you, though. <sighs> All right. We are hunkered down in the truck bed. I have... The Mr. Buddy heater going. I don't even think I'm going to have that running for very long though because it's only going to be like a low of 50 tonight and this tent being smaller keeps the heat in real well so it gets like probably gets like 70 degrees in here which is plenty warm for me to sleep in. Always bring a gun with me when I'm camping. Stay strapped or get clapped right? I think George Washington said that. Anyway it's time for bed. I'll see you guys first thing early early in the morning. Ah, top of the morning, guys. Here is our view right out of the tent first thing in the morning. Little breeze and overcast has moved in. Cooking ourselves up a little fresh breakfast. Got some kielbasa, sunny side eggs, and brewed up a little coffee in the old high adventure mug. Mm. You know, a little bit weak this morning, to be honest with you. Not as strong as I usually make it, but it's better than nothing. Ah. Here we go. What will the day hold? I love the pre-fishing fishing feeling because 
you've got a full day of possibilities. We've got a boat full of bait, and you just don't ever know what could happen today. We might have the most epic day in the world. You guys might never see this video if we don't catch anything. <laughs> Woo. Let the adventure begin. Yes. Oh, all right. Let's start heading up river. We'll see what's going on up that way. All right, check that out, guys. We have got a Lindy rig on with a night crawler. And we're gonna just drift this along the bottom. Look at that. Oh, you see that? Hey, gum. Let's throw this out. And then we're gonna reel it in slowly. I'm in a little bit deeper water, 19 feet right here. We're gonna bump this along the bottom and we're just gonna kind of work our way up river. See if we can get anything on this. It's a big old ball of bait. Feels like a bite right there. Got him. Fish on. Fish on. On the Lindy rig. Oh, come on. What do we have? Dude, if this is a walleye. It's a brim. Oh my gosh. It's a big old bluegill. I was told there was some jumbo bluegill in here. I mean, it ain't that big, but look how white that thing is. Dudes, well, got the skunk out of the boat. He's a little bigger. I might keep him. Drop him back in. Dang. I thought that's too good to be true to get a walleye that fast. Wow, guys, look at this. We have reached the headwaters of this lake. This is the Chattooga River that dumps in to this reservoir. It's pretty safe to say we're not going to go any further than this right here. I think people raft down this in the summertime, if I'm not mistaken. I might have to get like a little jig or something on. Let's get uh, our little Lindy rig back out. Let's try bumping this along the bottom here. Got one. Guys, we got one. Right by the boat. Right by the boat. Dude, it's got some weight to it. Oh my gosh, it's got some weight to it. Oh, dude, I think it's a walleye. I think it's a walleye. No, dude, it's a big carp. What? What? Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh, it's a big carp. Oh man, you guys will see in a second why I thought this was a walleye. Look at this thing. <laughs> Look at that. I saw the color and I thought, we've got a walleye. Dude, that was like right under the boat. I switched to this little grub and nailed this big old ugly sucker, literally. Let's drop him back in. That ain't what I want. Man, that got me excited though. That was a good fight. That's a fish. That's a fish right there. Oh, what do we got? What do we got? Oh, do we have a walleye? Please, maybe a walleye. Don't be another sucker. Oh, it's, it's a bass. What? Oh, come on. Hey, I think that's a spot though. Hey. If that's a spot of bass, we'll eat it. I think it is. Let's back up here. I don't want to get in these rapids. Dang it. We're catching fish, y'all. Just the wrong ones. <laughs> yeah, that's a spot. Got a little rough tongue. We're keeping that to eat. 100%. Put him on a stringer. It's probably about 13 inches. These taste really good if you've never eaten a spot of bass. These are delicious. Oh. A little topsy-turvy here. There we go. Let's hang them off the side of the boat. Tie it up. Get back down there. All right, guys. I've thrown like the entire tackle box at this area. So we're going to head back down towards the main body of the lake. Cross our fingers, though. Not done yet. I've got rigged up just a little sartreuse jig head and some night crawler. I've just kind of gone real bare bones with it. I've been trolling around the... Um, the uh, Lindy rig, and I really haven't gotten anything on that except for that brim at first. Been throwing the crankbait at the shore, and then I tried the jig, uh, you know, with the sartreuse curly tail on it, and just nothing. There's a fish. Got him. Got him. Come here. I guess that's another, another spot. No, that's a big old sunfish. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. Holy cow! Dudes, 
This must be one of those porkers they talk about in here. Cheapers. Look at this guy. Dudes, we're gonna eat this right here. Look at that. Maybe that's what's down there. Maybe that's what I'm marking. That's a big old sunfish. Biggest one of my 2024 year. Phew, whoa. Goodness gracious. That'll actually fit on a stringer that's so big. Well, one fat brim and a spot. At least we're on some fish right here. It has been a slow first day here at this new mountain reservoir. Just dropped it back down and we got hit again. I mean, there, there are clouds of, of something down there. I don't know if it's just bait with with game fish mixed in with it or not, it's hard to tell. But there are fish. And at this point, I'm just gonna cross my fingers and hope that some walleye are mixed in down there. See that hit right there? Look at that. Dude, if that's a brim, this is a big brim. Oh, it just feels good to, dude, it's a crappy. It's, what the, what the? Oh my gosh, dude, it's a nice crappy. What are we doing here? Wait, where's my net? I'm gonna just lip him. I got him right in the top of the... Oh my word, dude, it's a cornucopia here. Wait, I think we just lift him in. Woohoo! What? Dudes! What, what are we doing? <laughs> okay. Okay. I mean, I'm not gonna turn that down like a 13-inch white crappie. That is so cool. I think that's my first crappie this year, actually. You know who that is? And it's the first time I've ever caught one out of like a high mountain reservoir too like this. Normally I'm catching them in the Midlands, in the lakes. I knew they were in here. They had listed them as being one of the fish in here, but definitely did not expect that. Ta! Look at that stringer, dude. That's crazy. This is fun. It's fun dropping down and like, I mean, you don't even know what you're going to pull up. This is cool. There he is right there. Got him. Loaded on. What do we got here? It's kind of fun dropping down and like not knowing big old bluegill. Holy jumbo. Jeez Louise, dudes. It's fun dropping down about 20, 25 feet and not knowing what you're gonna pull up next. There gotta be a walleye or two though down there. There really does. Dude, look at that. Look at that. I mean, that, that, that's, that's as big as my hand. Goodness gracious. There's one. Goodness. Good grief. Loaded on. I didn't even know it. Dude, this is a brim. This is another good brim. Dude, is that a shell cracker? No, that's just another big brim. Good night. We found them. We found them. Jeepers. That might be the biggest of the day. Look at that thing. Well, we found the big brim. I went by a boat earlier today, and that's what they were fishing for. And they're like, well, we've only caught four, but they're there. And I think they're fishing too shallow. But I'm out here in about 20 feet of water. They were up in about 12 to 10. I mean, maybe they were catching, I mean, obviously they were catching some, but like, we're finding a lot right out here. Dude, I think we're getting bit already. I just dropped this thing down. Yep, there he is. Dude, he hit it so hard he threw slack in it. I think this is another dude we have found the mother load dude they're getting bigger what in the what oh my gosh guys these are like some of the biggest brim not some of these that, like that's the biggest brim i've ever caught and it just beat the last brim i just caught holy smokes we're in about 20 to 25 feet and we are just like i can't stop pulling up jumbo brim <laughs> not what i came to the mountain reservoir for but I'm not complaining at this point. Oh my goodness. Dude, this is, this is actually a lot of fun because they give you a good little fight. I mean, you see that rod bend? And I've got like this lighter. You know, I've got this crappy rod on. Oh my gosh. Phew. I'm not going to lie. This is turning my day around. I am having a hoot. Like this is daggum the size of the crappy I was catching. Here we go. Here we go. Down she goes. I'm gonna probably have to call it quits here pretty soon, just cause I gotta get back and eat and all that good stuff. Well, we've still got light. Cook some fish up over the fire. Oh, we're on the bottom. Dude, and we've got a fish on already. This, now this is a baby, I think. 
Never mind, it's another slab. He just fought weird. Guys, look, look at this, dudes. What are we doing out here? I mean, this, this is nuts. This, I mean, just pigs. That's kind of an ugly cuss. Look, I just horked that thing down. I'm just dropping them right here for now because I'm on the bite. It's just so hot right now. Back down it goes. There he is. Just like that. Good grief. Jeez Louise, man. And like, I've caught like two small ones in this whole section. Out of, what am I going to say, three, four, five, seven, eight, a dozen? Baker's dozen? It's a baker's dozen? Look at that guy. That's kind of a funky one. Like the hunchback of Notre Dame there. Look at them. Ooh, I am nothing but a humpity dumpity. It's gonna taste good is what he's gonna taste. Sorry, buddy. Got him. <laughs> that one actually put a licking on it. Oh, dude, this is this the biggest of the day? Oh my gosh. Oh, dude, this is a shell cracker. Right? Yeah, this is a shell cracker. This is a big old shell cracker. What in the world? Dudes, look at the size of this thing. Oh, my lord, have mercy. <laughs> what? Oh, my gosh. Guys, look at that fish right there. Oh, my gosh. And that just adds to the variety we caught today. Good grief. Shoo! Goes on the stringer. My word. Dude, this is, what, a, what an insane day this has been. Just got done putting the last fish on the stringer. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Good grief. I was not expecting to come up here and have such a phenomenal time catching brim, of all things. And a nice crappy and shell cracker to boot. Those are like my kicker fish, as well as my spotted bass. Man, you just could not have asked for a nicer day out here either. I mean, it's just been picture perfect. The only thing we weren't able to do was get my walleye, but we've still got tomorrow. So we'll give it a shot. We'll probably explore some different areas of the lake. I know I can come here and load up on brim. Part of me wants to go see if I could chase a new personal best because I've, I've got my personal best on that stringer. We'll pull them off and take a look at them again. We might even try weighing them up. Definitely gonna weigh that shell cracker up, but if the fishing isn't good, maybe in the morning, we might just come right back out here, see if we can plug like a big old brim. Seems like I remember reading somewhere like the record brim for this lake is like over two pounds. So, I mean, maybe we maybe we try to go for the record tomorrow. I don't know. Let's get back to camp though. I am starving. Ah, here we go. Ugh. Take a look at that stringer though, y'all. That is as an impressive brim stringer as I think I've ever had before. Like, if I could have thrown a couple more crappy on there, I think that would have sealed the deal. But that massive shell cracker, and then the jumbo brim, like, dude, we, we cleaned up. I have decided we are going to eat the bass and the crappy tonight. I know we got a bunch of brim, but we're gonna save those for tomorrow. There we go. I'm gonna just go ahead and cut all the ribs out. Not for our crappy. Oh, didn't mean to cut through that. It's easier to leave the fillet on the fish for finishing off the fillet, but toss that back there. Just gotta try to hold this down. That'll work. When the fish are big enough, you can hold that skin down, still get the meat off. There we go, like that. Perfect. Now we have four really nice fillets ready for a fire pit. Take the rib cage out, get rid of that, and the skin, and voila. Sweet. That's a whole heck of a lot better than chili and hot dogs I get tonight, I'll tell you that. Going two for two on the one match wonder, ladies and gentlemen. Can he do it?
I'm quickly running out of match here. Please tell me something lit. Oh, oh I see more fire. Ah, that's it. Too hot. Ah, oh, did we get it? Alas. Oh, oh. No, we didn't. Never mind. False alarm. What the? What in the? What? What is going on? Smooth, easy strokes, Micah. What the? What in the Sam Hill? There we go. Don't try this at home, kids. I've got my skillet and I'm gonna just slice off some butter cubes or thins, if you will, right in the bottom, just like that. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our trout actually, lay that on top, make sure we get both trout fillets. And I'm gonna put some of the seafood spectacular, goes well with everything. Ugh, what is that on the lid? Hmm, not sure about that. Let's just pretend everything's good. What? what? A little bit of moisture got in here. Might have to go full salt bay on it here. You can reach in and grab the seasoning out with your finger when you're the only one that's using it. There, and then we're gonna do a little salt as well. How's our fire doing? Looking good. Let's go ahead, get a couple bigger pieces of wood on. There we go. Yeah, that's looking good. Look at that. Let's throw this guy here. I don't know why, he just looks better. Both sides seasoned up. We're just gonna go ahead and slide that right next to the fire right there. Let that start cooking. Here we go. Look at that big old shell cracker. All right, here we go. Get him lit there. What do we got? Clocking in at 1.3 pounds. Honestly, I thought he was going to be a little bigger than that. That's not even my personal best with the shell cracker. I think my personal best is like 1.62 or something like that. But still, I mean, really solid fish. I'll take that. That's going to taste delicious. Alright, we have the crappy on the griddle. We've got a fresh Pepsi. Born right here in the Carolinas. Oh, delicious. Ask a blessing before we proceed. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. Lord, thank you for keeping us in safety out on the water, for helping us find some fish, Lord, enjoying your creation. We pray you bless this food for our bodies now. And through Jesus we pray. Amen. Look at this though. Mmm. Mmm. That is what I'm talking about. Spotted bass are considered a nuisance here in the South. People go after the largemouth, not the spots. So you're more than welcome to eat as many spotted bass as you want. You eat a largemouth though, like you'll find a dead horse head in your bed, you know, kind of thing. I mean, it's that kind of, that kind of seriousness around here. Mm. If you get the opportunity, eat yourself some spotted bass. In fact, spotted bass season like, the fishing time is just now going to start heating up, especially with these warmer days. I'm going to come up here into the mountains, and we're going to get us some coolers full of this. This is good. Oh. Well, I'm not sure what I'm going to do in the morning, where I want to go, but I have a couple ideas. I can tell you this, we're going to get up even earlier in the morning than we did this morning so we better get to bed it's already 10 20 Oof. Uh, I can't tell you this that bass tasted way better than crappy because crappy needs to be fried in my opinion like it's good that way it's fine but the spot of bass was way better than the crappy we're gonna go ahead and shut the lights off get some shut eye and then we'll be right back at it tomorrow see if we can catch anything else crazy out of this mountain reservoir I guess I'll see you guys then.
Uh, top of the morning, guys. I am out already. Check it out. It is dawn's early light. There is barely any light in the sky. Oh, clean my camera off there. I don't know if that did much good, but there's barely any light in the sky. We are heading back up to that those falls that we fished yesterday. I want to give it one last shot in this low light because while I like to feed in kind of the dark and low light situation, so I thought, you know, we've come all this way. I don't want to just hit it once and be done with it. Plus, we got up there at like 10 o'clock in the morning yesterday. I was hoping for a little cloud cover this morning, but we don't have it. Looks like it's going to be pretty bluebird conditions, so I decided to get up at 5.30. We've been paddling since about 6.05. We're still about 15 minutes out trying to get there before sunrise so that is the plan and then we'll just go from there man get a load of this view though even if we don't catch anything this is just about worth it mist coming over the treetops a little pink in the sky from the sun coming up You know guys, I switched to this herring looking uh, little paddle tail um, fluke slash grub thing to do because it hit me last night. These fish, well, that felt like a bite right there. Um, these fish are feeding on the herring in this river slash mountain lake. And uh, I thought, you know, we might want to try matching the hatch a little bit more. Instead of like throwing the night crawlers, like I'm sure the crawlers would catch stuff, but it seems to me if I'm a walleye and my main food source is herring, they'd be keying in on that a little bit more than say a night crawler. Oh, dude, I think a bass. Oh, there's something down there. Got him. Dude, I saw him come up and hit it. I think it's a big spot. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, that was pretty cool. There were two of them down there. Hey, that's an eating fish right there. <laughs> ah, there's a way to start the morning. Look at that. Nice spotted bass. Put them on a string. Holy cow, something just smoked the surface right there. My guess it's a bass. And I'll take another bass since the walleye aren't biting. Come on, we get him. Three, two, one, start reeling. Got him. <laughs> it's a baby. It's a baby. But that was cool. See the hit on the surface. And then pop the fish. Ah. There's definitely a difference, y'all. Switching, uh, that might be a real true, no, that's a spot. I was gonna say that might be a largemouth, but there's definitely a difference switching to this herring pattern. I mean, we only caught one spot yesterday, caught two so far this morning, had another bite. Oh. Walking up and down to the ramp. Ooh, that is cumbersome. Check this out, though, guys. Stopped back off at our honey hole yesterday, grabbed a few more brim, and then I noticed the weather said. It's supposed to start raining here soon. So I kind of had to pack it up and get off, but look at that. Before the rain sets in, I want to show you guys how we're going to cook the brim up, at least for today. I can tell you right now, I've got like 20 something I'm bringing home and those are going to make some delicious tacos. We're going to go ahead and cook a couple of these up fresh before we get rained out. I've got three nice specimens here. Just to give you guys a frame of reference, let me measure one of these up show you the size that we're catching here because sometimes the uh camera doesn't do it justice 10 inch 10 inch brim ah, okay close over nine and three quarters this one right here maybe that's guy that's probably the smallest we're keeping nine and a half not keeping anything under nine and a half inches i mean that's that's a that's a toad dudes these are big all right and it's simple we've killed them 
beat them over the head. We're just gonna take and we're gonna gut them. Well, it appears my knife needs to be sharpened. There we go. And then I'm gonna take, actually I've got a bit bigger knife here. I'm gonna just take the scales off. I like using this heavy duty knife because there's no bend to it. And it just rips right through those scales really fast. Just like that. Do both sides. And once the scales are off, I'm gonna go ahead and just take the head off. Just like that. Boom, pretty simple. Toss it in the water, get the guts cleaned out. And we've got a nice piece of fish right there. All right, there you go. We've got three beautiful specimens ready for the skillet. Flip over, get going. All right, while the butter melts, we're gonna throw a little slap your mama seasoning on these brim. This does not take a lot. Just go sparingly with this. Drop some in the body cavity as well. Do some spicy brim here. I don't know if I've ever done this with brim before. Look, hot brim action. Perfect. Here we go. Spicy brim going in. In the last 24 hours, we've consumed hot dogs, chili, fish. Now we're gonna add to that spicy brim in butter sauce. I'll bet this isn't gonna be a gut bomb at all. Actually, I've already had a couple of those, so this will just be the glaze on top of everything that we've had the last two days. Woo! grab this ah no you can't there we go looking good smelling potent I need a clean fork one second all right let's get some spicy jumbo brim oh look at that cheers Oh man, Woo. whoa, that will clean you straight out. Slap your mama indeed, Woo. oh, but it's so good. And that brim though, bluegill tastes delicious. Anybody who's had it, like it's just such an underrated fish. And I think it's because it's hard to get them big enough to eat, but boy, we got them big enough to eat this trip. I'm trying to make sure I'm going boneless here. See, we left that skin on. So you got that crispy brown skin. White meat underneath. That's a treat. Oh, and really just the right amount of Slappy Mama seasoning. It's just, I'm fighting a slight head cold. Whew. And I think this is gonna, I think it's gonna clean my head right out. Oh my gosh. Whew. Big, white, chunky meat off that big jumbo brim. Mm. That's a way to end this trip right here. I told you guys at the beginning of the year, I wanted to come out and do some more exploring, go to some new areas, travel to new places. And I feel like to kick off the year, we have been absolutely crushing it in that department so far. I can tell you right now, I've added this reservoir to the list of places that we've got to come back to. This has been a really, really fun last couple of days. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me the last two days as well. Hope you enjoyed the trip and the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next one.